Oh my gosh, is this new High Grove Christmas collection? Okay, so this is 520 pounds. I've never seen anything like that before. This is so much better than the Harrods selection. Is Fort Nova Mason the best store? to visit at Christmas. I don't know, you guys say that quite often in the comments, but yes, this store is from 1707, and we're gonna check out the Christmas department, which is very famous. And this is a very typical rainy Saturday morning here in London. It is on, dead on 10 o'clock, let's go in. I'm quite impressed that I got here on time. Look, everyone's just going in now. Let's have a look at the clock. How cute is that? Oh guys, I'm getting really wet. Right, let's show you some of the windows. I know it's a little bit tricky in the daytime, but look at this facade of the entire building. They're pumping out the Christmas music. Oh, look at that. And some of the products, which we will see, are like going into the store. Oh, and then it's the windows of the windows. <laughs> Looks like their tag, where Christmas comes alive. How cute is that? Oh, I love old school Christmas windows. Silver linings of everyone just going in. Look at this. This is one of the busiest stores you go to. Right, oh, we have mechanical windows. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's the lift with all the stuff bursting out. There's so many mechanical elements in it. I absolutely love it, but it's so cute. It's like all the products have come to life. I hope I can use the music in the background. Look at the little champagnes, and definitely gonna get some champagne. I probably should have filmed this at night time, but <laughs> I haven't. Look at the little teas or co coffees. Oh gosh, that's so cute. Look at this entrance. Right, let's head on in. It's gonna be festive. I don't think you guys are ready for this video. This is going to be amazing. The chandeliers, oh my gosh. Also guys, it's absolutely boiling in here, which is why I didn't actually wear a proper coat. Look at the trees. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try and blitz everything. Look at this chocolate counter. Also, if you've seen my videos before, I know I did this at uh, um, Halloween. This is the most gorgeous chocolate counter. Oh my gosh, look at these chocolate soldiers and these little presents with little sweets in and stuff. Oh my gosh. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to film the prices if you can see that a Santa is 13 pounds and then you get it in one of these gorgeous boxes, which they do all year round. We'll look out for some red ribbon. They usually pop red ribbon on things in the festive period. Look at the teddy figurines, they're massive. Oh my God, they're 30 pounds. And then we've got Marzi, pa oh no, they're seasonal offer. I think they've sold out and some loose chocolates. And they always have things like fudge and Turkish delights, marshmallows, it's absolutely incredible. This is making me hungry. I did have breakfast and then, yeah, look at these fruits. I can't not show you the marzipan fruit and vegetables. They're amazing, aren't they? And if you come in the side entrance, you will get this beautiful staircase, which has got two Christmas trees. I can't even get it in the shot in 0.5. Oh, I love it. I really like that they've kind of put a chunk of um, stars in the middle there. Can you see that? And that wreath is mahoosive. But we're gonna go up to the specific Christmas store. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend if you're coming here, pop up as, as early as you can because already like 10 minutes in, it is busy in here. This is one of the most hectic stores that you can come to. Maybe have a cup of tea or coffee before you come to this store. How busy is it gonna be? Oh, look at this. It's so stunning in here. We are on level one, <laughs> level two for Americans watching this. Look at this, they've got like a whole section. I did see a little bit of this when I did my Halloween video because it has been up for a while. They have got call outs to all of the advent calendars oh my god look at that one 200 pounds i think this one was new but 155 pound for a tea one and it's got little loose leaf tea tins in them it's a proper wooden one so you could reuse that one for sure i do think the fortnum bougie advent calendars you get quite a lot i mean 250 pounds still 250 pounds isn't it uh, but spirits and liqueurs and then they do have a little beauty one as well. And it's nice to see some brands that you don't usually see. Uh, but yes, they've got a whole little section here, I love it. And then the musical one, my friends have got this one, Luke and Rich, hi guys, if you're watching, 175 pounds. And yeah, and you can just refill it. I know it will be December by the time you're watching this. Oh my God. And they have expanded the Christmas area a little bit further out, I think, because it was getting a bit hectic. So you've got all the store-specific decorations. Uh, $21.95. I'll, I'll tell you some of the prices as we go along. Little royal blend. Oh, 
tea there, a little shopping bag. These do look like the same ones as last year. That's 26 pounds, that's heavy. But I feel like you wouldn't have to put this on the tree. I don't know, you could put it, I don't know, if you've got somewhere to hang something. Not where I'm sure I'm going with that, but little musical tin. This is what they're famous for. We'll keep an eye out and see if there is a Christmas musical tin with some yummy biscuits in and um, hot air balloon. Did they have that last year? I'm not sure, but yeah, you're looking at like 22 to uh, top into 30 quid on some of these decorations. Um, yeah, similar to what we saw in Harrods. If you haven't seen the Harrods video, go and check that out. That was the kickoff of Countdown to Christmas, but God, there are so many treats. Now, when you're watching this, there will be Christmas decorations. They've still got, I'm like a week ahead um, on these videos, give or take. But look at this store. We have to go down to the lower ground and look at the Christmas tree. Yeah, apologies. I probably will be back to show you the Christmas decorations down the middle, but um, I can't basically edit, film and edit these videos in time with a full-time job, so apologies about that. And through the power of editing, it is a few days later, because guess what? They installed the dancing Christmas puddings. Wow, this looks amazing. That is quite the contraption up the top. I wonder how that's programmed, actually. Let's not think about it, it's, it's magic. But that is so cute. So if you are in the area, yes, you won't have those tweeting birds like the rest of this video. You'll have the dancing Christmas puddings and um, the beautiful tree down there. Anyway, back to me. Us Brits, we love a bag for life, mainly because we don't want to pay for all the carrier bags here in the UK. But for 9.95, you've got the beautiful little one it's the same as last year. I, I don't know, I feel like it's less pink, which I, I like. I don't know, I remember this being really pink last year. I'm not sure, I might, it might be exactly the same. And then you've got a big one there as well. You know what you're asking me, how much are they, Hannah? Um, da, 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 da. I have a coronation one and it's lasted ages. Oh, I want a price on it, come on people. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe 20 quid. Okay, it looks like I can probably blitz this and show you everything, but we have boxes and boxes of chocolate. Wait, what is this? Advent calendar refill? Okay, so if you've got one of those um, fancy ones that I've just showed, the wooden ones, they have some little products if you want to, yeah, stick with Fortnum and Mason. But as we go over, oh my gosh, we have so much to look at. Oh, Christmas green tea. So Fortnum's are known for their tea and their coffee. So you get 20 tea bags for £13. They often have loose leaf as well. So if you are going to get some, I say this every time, make sure you check the tin to make sure you are buying whether you want tea bags or not. We have got Christmas flapjacks for 10 95 Oh my gosh, their tins are absolutely gorgeous. Some heart-shaped Pandora. Oh, this is, I didn't know what this was. Oh. Fortnum's, you know I love you, but you've got to put pictures of products on the boxes. I'm telling you, you would sell twice as many, but look at those tins. Well, I do partially take that comment back because they do have some displays with the products in, but I do still think a little illustration on the back would be good. Oh, we have a Christmas tea medley. Ooh. Oh, it's a tin. Oh, I really like the really sharp edges on that. That's lovely. And what do you get in there? You get a Christmas green tea, black tea, and then a fruit tea as well. That's a really nice combo. And we have got some other biscuits going on. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but as you can see, these make for great gifts. Look at these. And um, let's head on. I can see some chocolates. Look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, 29 pounds. Oh, it's heavy. I should hope so for nearly 30 quid. Um, marzipan draggies. Oh God, I'm gonna get butchered for the pronunciation on these things. But, oh, look at that design. That's really cool. It's giving Fendi. Right, and then a little example of the chockies in the box. Oh my God, look at these Christmas marzipans. They usually have, I've not seen one like this. That's gorgeous. They usually have a selection all year round. So if you're watching this in the future, don't you worry. Yeah, that's the standard little Christmas pudding ones that they always have. Look at those, they're so cute. And those are $12.50. This collection is so coherent. Look at all of that packaging. So you've got biscuits, you've got tea, uh, or <laughs> Christmas tea biscuits, particularly for £10. Right, how big is that? That's a really good tin to reuse, isn't it? Um, don't you hate it when you like go around someone's house and you think they've got a biscuit tin and it's got like a sewing kit in it? You think they've got like a massive box of celebrations, like a tub, and then you're like, oh no, it's full of light bulbs, brilliant, okay. <laughs> Okay, Christmas blend ground coffee. That is 15 pound for 250 grams or whatever that is. But I really like that they still kept the little mouse. This was a big part of their theming last year. 
Oh my gosh, there's quite a lot actually. Was there this much last year? This is a gorgeous display. Oh, I love it. Okay, what have we got? We've got Christmas puddings, we've got biscuits, and we have got mince pies. My personal fave, which I'm gonna be buying, I will be grabbing a basket shortly, is, I think it's the, yeah, Petite Fours mince pie medley. Is there a picture? Because I'm not really a mince pie fan, but I do find the little ones absolutely adorable. I think I like the pastry. Almond top, they are my personal fave. And then you have got a huge box of the normal traditional ones for 13 pounds. Yes, guys, I know you can get them cheaper down Aldi, but there probably is a difference. <laughs> anyway, right, we've got decorations over there to look at as well. They're also known for their iced biscuits, so it looks like they have got a little kind of Christmas-ish, I guess that one's kind of Christmassy or wintry. Um, things like panettone, all your staples. Oh, there's a lemon cello one. 45 pounds goodness and a triple chocolate one which i think they had last year um but yeah there's just so many little cute things and the packaging i guess is a big part of it look at those i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce what that is for 17 pounds but what is great is all of this on the wall they've got a full christmas pudding wall so it's quite easy to shop it's just getting busy so you've got a vegan one people always ask if there are vegan products for 13 pounds the little one there is 8.95 i don't know how little it is don't ask me um but if you want it to come with like a i guess like a ceramic i think that is um little pot that it comes in it's about 25 to ooh, what's that 37 pounds every year they have christmas coal look at this i think it's basically yeah like toffee rolled in some kind of chocolate i think it might be honeycomb anyway um such a cute idea and then we have got a few decorations creaking pin in look at the bauble we'll show you the full decorations in a mo oh, look at that box oh with caramel truffles in it nice so why has he got a stick in his head it's because you meant to stick him in your drink how fun is that for $8.95? Um, and then they've got a reindeer one as well, a little reindeer nose. And something that my friends always bang on about is this flipping peppermint bark. So I feel like I need to buy it because they're going to message me, Karen, I'm going to get some. I might message you and ask you and let you know that it's here. But this apparently is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to pick some up and it always sells out. It's like gone by mid-December. Oh, yay. Musical tin. I can't remember what it looked like last year. It might be the same. Who knows? But the gold is really lovely. The purple one we will see downstairs, purpley pink. But it's got a little merry-go-round and plays a little Christmas song. It's got shortbread biscuits in it, if you're wondering. I just say I'm on the iPhone 15 Pro now and it's struggling with the lighting in here. So that was a waste of money. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this new Highgrove Christmas collection? Oh my gosh, so if you want to be royal, oh my God, I'm going to have to get some of this stuff. Everything from, what is this, a Highgrove Preserve, seven pounds what we've got little shortbread yeah look at this packaging i love this color i know i kind of like boost the color in my in my videos but it's a gorgeous gorgeous red um and then muslin rat oh no i can't be feffing around with that but if you want to do your own mild wine <laughs> you can buy it brandy butter high grove yeah they did not have this last year so definitely going to pick some bits up and a little high grove christmas pudding i've tried to point out the prices i can't see some of them but i don't know 20 quid maybe they get you in the aisle don't they they've got loads of the products <laughs> jewel sighted kind of love it um but yes let's see okay we need to get to the decoration part now oh look at the christmas crackers oh they're gonna be bougie I'll show you some of the Christmas decorations. I'm sure by now you would have already put your decks up or I don't know, are you someone who waits and does the whole 12th night thing? Um, but they've got loads of cute little padded. You would have seen these in, if you should watch my Liberty video and also my Harrods video. And I showed you loads of these cute kind of decorations. So what are they? 15 to 25 pounds. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh look, and they have one of the facade of the building that's really cool i think they should have done this in a different color but hey me being fussy as usual they really have got some sparkly things there's loads of these padded things you will see some of the same decorations i can't remember where did we see that was that harrods but look at these this is the type of thing that i adore do you know what i mean like 
not fairy tale, but kind of like old Victorian Christmas. Do you know what I mean? That is what I am all about this year. I mean, do people buy this? I guess they do. They wouldn't stock it if they didn't. Oh, look at the swan, 15 pounds. Oh, that's really lovely. got some stunning embroidered stockings but something is slowly coming through is these kind of like mini I don't know what you call them mini Christmas village things you don't see this that much I guess there's some probably in the garden centers in the UK and correct me if I'm wrong um, they vary from ooh, 45 pounds to 520 for the Ferris wheel or the theater Flippinac. let's see if we can find those Fortnum's always have their own baubles that aren't necessarily filled with caramels, but they are cute. I really like that one on the right. If I can get it in focus, how cute. Do you see what I mean? Like the old school, like, like a little gramophone. Oh my gosh. And then you have all the different little discs with the music. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, look, look at, see, look at the boxes. Oh, look at that brand if you want to Google that. They've got all these kind of old fashioned, almost like little Christmas moments. Can you see that? on the horse oh my gosh okay so this is 520 pounds oh wow look at the trios of baubles um amazing i said before a bauble is an ornament if you're american but they've got little boxes they had one of these at liberties didn't they i guess that's got these beautiful decorations in cinderella Oh my gosh, I guess Snow White. And then Pinocchio, was that the one that we saw at Liberty? I can't remember. And then they go in that box. Oh my God, how much are they? I don't think I want to know. They're about 400 pounds. And for about 65 to 100 pounds, you have these other gorgeous decorations. Yeah, there's something very like 80s about the coloration and I kind of like that. It's fun. Um, yeah, babies first. I think you can probably get some of these personalized for 50 pounds. Oh, look at these soldiers and there's nutcrackers. They are cool. I haven't definitely seen way, way less of this this year. Um, I don't know, I guess it goes through trends. They are 15 pounds. Now, if you're in the market for a 90 centimeter baby deer, you are in luck, because they have some in stock for 550 pounds. Oh my God, a dog advent calendar, 110 pounds. And if you watch my Christmas videos, you know, I love a felt little animal. Look at his face. Tell me that is not the cutest thing ever. They are 30 to 35 pounds. Goodness, you can get a uh, little chill yoga looking dog. And if you love your pets, they have got cats and dogs crackers for 25 pounds. It does say on the back that they don't go bang, but there is a animal uh, toy inside. I must confess, this is very, very difficult to film. Oh my gosh, look at all these decorations. Ooh, is this a bit 90s? It smells amazing. I don't know, it reminds me of like when I was a kid, the, like the dried fruit. Um, what have we got here? Oh my gosh, look at the steampunk chocolate factory. It's a marble run, what? Okay, it's 65 pounds, <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Oh, I really like what they've done this year. There's a lot of new stuff. Look at that little wooden swing ride. These are advent calendars, look at that. That is so pretty for three pound 50. I guess, yeah, you like post it to someone. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get one of those. I said this in Liberty, there's quite a lot of this like old fashioned, yeah, traditional Christmas stuff and I really like it. Yeah, look at those from Amy Swan. Oh my God, there's like a candy land. Oh, Yuletide imagination. Oh my gosh, this looks stunning. And then um, they've got all the, some of the decorations. Oh my God, there's just so much to look at. Look at these. Oh my God, they're 225 pounds. It's noisy in this corner. Oh, I love the colors, it's so fun. Oh my God, these are 50 pounds. Look at them with their little legs. I've never seen anything like that before. Look at the crockery, oh my gosh. Sorry, I keep saying that, but this is exceptional. Okay, Papa Noel, if you wanna um, have a look at it online. 
Wow, that is a, that's a bit of me, that is. Oh my God, with like the marshmallows on the top. Um, I think this is similar to what we saw in Harrods, but these kind of gingerbread things are so cool. This is exceptional. I've not seen this type of thing, like I say. Oh my God, look at the lips with like the hundreds of thousands on. Reminds me of sweets, so I guess that's the point. I didn't think it'd be long until we saw some kind of macaron decoration. Oh, this is so fun with the rollerblades. Okay, rich people crackers, 65 pounds, what do you get? Uh, let's see, Georgian elegance crackers. And you get, uh, well at least you get a bit of a recipe versus the Harrods one. I just don't, I don't know, they're cute. I just don't see the freaking point in them at all. The designs are quite nice though, aren't they? I mean, I don't know, Fortnum's, that one's really boring. 130 pounds, oh, there we go, you get, I guess, a, a bit of booze in each one. Look at the size of these ones, oh. Whoa, they are really boring. Um, but what do you get? You get champagne truffles, a little, I guess, combo um, there. I guess you can see what else have we got. I do like this type of thing, but I don't know. I'd be a bit like, well, I don't want hand cream. I want the bottle topper. Oh my gosh, that one is 300 pounds. I really love this. Is it Vondel's brand? That is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is what I mean. Old school Christmas, the nutcracker, and look, it's like a full on pop up, movable, whatnot book. And they've got a few of them. They've got, yeah, some other stories. How, wait, how much are these people are gonna ask? And they're 28 pounds. Oh, look at the nutcracker. Oh my gosh. And they obviously have one for display and then they're all wrapped up. Oh my gosh, and then the most, Beautiful ballets, oh my god. And of course they've got tons of Christmas cards. They're a really good store generally for cards, um, but they have got quite the array, the old school. Do you see what I mean? It's giving like 80s and I really like this. They've got it all, placemats, and I'm trying to show you the brands if you want to like Google them, and, but you can often buy a lot of this stuff if you're overseas, it's just the alcohol. Yeah, it's usually just the products that have got alcohol and some food products, because I always get comments from like Americans and people in Canada who have ordered stuff and had it shipped over. This is that brand, isn't it? If you watched my Selfridges video a few years ago and the paper plates were ridiculous, so eight paper plates, 10 pounds. It's just a bit much, isn't it? Eight plates, they're quite cute. Who's paying 12 pounds for eight paper plates? I think you need to kind of sort yourself out really because that's just not normal. Oh my gosh, look at all of these cards. They've got so many dog and cat products. I'm loving all of this gift wrap ribbon and things like that. They've got, oh my God, I can't show you all of it, but it is quite the selection. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's very like Beatrix Potter. Look at this wrapping paper. Are you flipping joking? Oh my God, I have to see how much this is. I don't, oh gosh, how much is it? I can't find a price anywhere, but look at it. Look, they're like little boxes. Oh, wow, how much are these? They are 12 pounds. Okay, that's a lot of money, but I actually think that's kind of maybe worth it. Again, with the animal products, I love it. Look at all of these different scenes. This is so much better than the Harrods selection. Oh, I was wrong, it's 15 pounds. A lot of them haven't got prices on, but yeah, 15 pounds for the big one. And what was it? 9.95 for the small one. Where are the Christmas tea towels? Where's the Christmas tea towels? Another thing I know a lot of people like to get, I feel like these would look good all year round, is I guess your initial for 15 pounds um, in the Fortnum's green, I guess that is. Right, their tea towels I think are really good. They're 12 95 I pre personally prefer the waffle ones, okay? You know, I'm like Miss, Miss Fusspot, but they've got the facade of the store. That's really nice. And do you know what I like? It's not too crunchy. Um, so I think it'll probably be okay absorbent absorbance wise um, love these I actually have these oven gloves but with the standard color they are really good and they wash really well by the way 18 quid I've had those for a couple of years I mean saying that I don't really use them that much so maybe having them for a few years is the best, worst example because I couldn't even tell you the last time I turned my oven on but anyway <laughs> oh I was kind of hoping there'd be another one but maybe I am early okay so keep your eyes peeled for me all right if you're coming um, but this one hold on what's this is this Christmas 
This is a bit of me. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Last year, they had like a wall display with them on. This is the one that I have. Um, I'm actually gonna get a red one for Christmas. Excited about that. They have got this display, I guess. It's where the biscuits are in the other store now, um, around the other side even. Like I said, some of this floor plan may have changed when you come, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say now to the guy <laughs> who bring the background, um, it, this is quite a intense store experience. No matter what time of the day you come, you saw I came bang on opening. It's maybe like half 10 just after now, because it's taken me a while to film this and have a look at everything. It's pretty, it's pretty busy, um, so maybe watch this video and it, hopefully the floor plan's the same and it helps you pick what you want to buy. But if not, I will link a load of stuff below um, and just go on, go on the Fontenham's website. They have really good delivery, really good packaging and they ship globally. Also, this is not an ad, I just absolutely love Fontenham and Mason. I don't think I've shown it, but there's actually quite a lot of puzzles in places as well. Look at that, so it's all the little shapes. That'd be quite difficult, right? How much is a puzzle? That's quite a fun little present. 40 pounds. Very nice. If you're looking for a tea set, which is £6,000, they will have it. There, there is honestly so much in here. I could do about 10 videos. This is the standard stuff, but they always have beautiful displays, seasonal displays. I mean, could you imagine? I'd be scared to use any of that. Oh, what a dream. And then this is Fortnum's kind of like fine Christmas collection that they always have. Look at that. Bone China made in England. Let me just see, how much is a little teacup? Be quite a lot 40 pounds so yeah you can get your touristy ones or your your fine fine ones and we saw this brand Mackenzie Childs in um, Harrods but it looks like they've got quite the selection in here as well I always love these like little cake stands they're adorable look at that wow god I'm trying to think how much that is how much is it 55 pounds table for one I've never seen this that's seasonal or Dallow Woods. Oh my gosh, that is really cool. Imagine it with all the like, oh my gosh, your little bits on it. Oh, that is so pretty. And they always have um, Spode as well. They do have a few brands in here as you've seen. Oh, I love it. necessarily Christmas but they have the parlor which has ice cream and coffees but the afternoon tea at Fortnum's is on the top floor and it's stunning I've done it a couple of times I will link those they might come up as a recommendation from the last two years we're not going this year but it's, it's definitely one I'd recommend okay I'm gonna show you only a little bit downstairs because I think this video is quite long already right let's grab a basket that guy's got a trolley oh my gosh dream I don't know what to do with the hamper that big after but yes quite the selection all those Christmas goodies that we've been looking around if you just want to go, yeah, I'll have all of that, please. Um, you can do that. Ah, oh, this is what I was looking for. So they have these on the ground floor, but not so much in the Christmas section anymore. So you can get some booze. It's just a really nice way to like gift, um, gift things. I know some people get this kind of stuff through their jobs, which is amazing. But yeah, you can go all out. That's a better example, Hannah. I personally love these cute little ones. How much are these? These probably very little bit. Oh, not sure. Um, but yeah, a little kind of preserve and uh, biscuit moment. Gosh, they've really got quite the display up here. There's tons. And then rather than a wicker basket, they do have these festive boxes. They have these at Easter as well. Um, and you can get them for like birthdays. 55 pounds. So we have picked up a few things, including that little candle. But well, I'll be back in like a week's time. I know what I'm like. Okay, I'm losing the plot a bit. So yeah, you've got the Diamond Jubilee Tea Salon on the top floor, which is afternoon tea. And then I'm gonna go all the way down to the ground and lower floor. Of course, I've ended up at the chocolate counter. We will go to the Harrods one. I don't know, maybe I've already put that up. But I just was keeping an eye out to see if they had any Christmas specific um, chocolates. And I don't think they do. I think it's that counter that I showed you at the start. But honestly, these, this selection, I mean, look at it. Everything you could ever dream of. I just adore the shop fit. I always rant about it every year. It's absolutely gorgeous, this store fit. All around downstairs, they have got different presents. So it's not Christmas specific, but just like little combo boxes, which are really good. So if you want to spend 20 quid or 520 quid. God, it is crazy in here now. Definitely come for opening. Okay, I think I might be popping downstairs now. 
or a love a spiral staircase. I think they've still got some bits left over actually from Halloween. It's a while ago. Oh, that tree looks cute. I feel like they could put a few hampers down here. Maybe they'll update the VM. It looks a bit boring, but it's still pretty. Where Christmas comes alive with alcohol. Um, so yeah, they always have, all times of the year, lots of different alcohols, Proseccos, etc. Um, but it's always a really, really nice gift, I think. Um, and you can get non-alcoholic as well. And for 350, a little Fortnum's Christmas ale as well. And they always have boxes of fruit and nut selection. Oh, I feel like they should put some red ribbon around those. <laughs> Look at the Christmas Battenberg. Oh my gosh. But yes, always loads of fresh baked goods in here. It's very, very yummy and it smells amazing. I find I get to this part of the store and I am flagging, guys. But yeah, they have a butcher, a pate counter. My dad would love that. I mean, foie gras, if that is your thing. There is a caviar and smoked salmon counter. Let's have a look. I know you lot. I know you lot like to see the bougie stuff. So yeah, it's really quite something. And then actual truffles as well. Oh, this is like proper rich people stuff. Tell me where else you can get smoked salmon that's displayed like this. Like even the fixtures, look at the little, oh my God, there's salmons on the thing. Dill and mustard sauce. Oh, hungry now. I think the Christmas store has taken it out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for this, I am done. Put a fork in me, I'm done. God, it's like being in the line for Primark. Okay, fresh air. Let's head on out. If you're going to Port Mason, it's such a warm store. Do not wear a coat. I was boiling in this jacket and t-shirt. So yeah, if you can brave it during the day, <laughs> going to these stores, they're so warm. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this video in the middle of the road. Piccadilly is so busy and loud. Hopefully you can hear me. I did my best showing you everything at Port Mason this Christmas 2023. Where has this year gone? That's absolutely bonkers, right? Um, it's a very stressful sort of vlog. I think that's probably the hardest vlog I've ever done. So please, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. I'm guessing if you watched this far, you thought it was tolerable. Uh, but yes, I will be showing you the lights in, at night, kind of a talk. Um, so make sure you are subscribed because we have loads, loads more coming on the channel. I don't know what order I've done this. Things like Harrods, Selfridges, Liberty, all of the bougie cool stores. Also afternoon tea, Christmas markets and the kind of more normal bits and bobs around the city. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for watching. Also, if I regret saying this, it should be two videos a week in December, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. and Fridays, my normal time at 6 p.m. So make sure you're subscribed, like I say, and I will see you in a few days time. Do I say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. The best day of the year. Yes, it is the best day of the year. Here, here.